Taurus, Elsie here to do a reading for the week ahead. How are you, my bull gang? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for clicking here. I appreciate you. And I'm here with one of your bonus reads for the week. I say one because I usually come here and do a few of these this uh, during the week. I try and get one out every day if I can, but barring being a little bit exhausted, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here if you're brand new and if you are I hope you will stay I hope you will click that subscribe button and uh, thank you for all the thumbs up and being in the comments we like to be in the comments around here if you're new and uh, if you are the one that always clicks here I appreciate you so much all right I'm here with the surrender deck because guess what we have another eclipse coming up this time it's a lunar eclipse and it's coming up at the end of the month so it can't hurt to look at what you should be eclipsing out of your life right that's the theme for the month what are we getting rid of, peoples? Let's find out what you should be surrendering, Taurus. Tell me about the surrender for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Taurus. All right. Someone has a fear of success. Wait, what's this? Surrender to effortlessness. Ooh, that's a big word, effortlessness. So uh, stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Stop swimming upstream. If it's not working, stop making, stop trying to make it work. If they keep leaving, let them go. Let them go. Let them come back if they want. Let them leave if they want to leave. Stop being the traffic cop. So it says, surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people and activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Surrender to success. Oh, I like this. Passionate success. So it says, uh, surrender to success. You are all, you are ready to experience abundance. Oh, Taurus. Look, it says, don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world full of possibilities. Your passions are about to be ignited. Something's coming to get you back into the flow and it's going to put a fire in your belly. You're supposed to surrender to passion and success. For some of you, if you've got a business, I feel like this is going to be a really abundant season for you, October, November, December. That's what it feels like, the, the rest of the fall season. That's what I'm looking at here. So uh, you are ready to experience abundance. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, my friend. And if you aren't, well, you best hang on with the white knuckles because here it comes. Here it comes. Let's talk about it. Talk about the soul's journey. What else, other energy can you give us, please? Tell me about the soul's journey, please. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus, don't forget there is a sale on still, right? End of October, the 31st at midnight is when it ends. 10% off all of my services over at Wizio. There's a code in the description. Please look for the flowers. There's a link there to Wizio as well. All right. We have forgiveness and freedom. In the bottom of the deck, we have imagination. It feels like somebody's about to start a business. It says here, I embrace and nourish the, the creative aspect of my mind. Maybe you're not starting a business, but maybe you're finally holding yourself to task on getting some canvas, getting some paints. You know, it feels like you're you're going to buy the violin or you're going to buy the electric guitar. It feels like you're, you're going to embark on something of imagination. And uh, imagination is sort of... Um, sort of entangled with your intuition, right? These are uh, things that are creative are all ways to meditate. So for a lot of people who can't just sit there on the meditation pillow in the, in the silence and be with themselves, not everybody can. The best way to get into a meditation is to do something you love. Paint rocks, paint canvases, um, learn, um, learn an instrument, um, memorize a poem. Like all of those things are, um, are very much creative things that will help you in a meditation. Um, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And this is really interesting because if you have someone, I don't care if it's grandma or your brother or the person down the street or your neighbor you're fighting with, if you can't give that person forgiveness, you can't learn the lesson of forgiveness. Therefore, you cannot receive forgiveness. Do you see how it works, <laughs> right? You throw it at the universe. You're saying, I'm never going to forgive that person because they were terrible and awful and horrible and mean. They did this, that, and the other thing. And if you can't get, let go of it and you can't give forgiveness, it's never going to come to you because you only get what you throw at the universe. It throws it back. And if you're not throwing forgiveness, this is going to start blocking other relationships, relationships with your children, relationships with your friends, relationships with your spouse. 
If you are arguing with grandma and you can't give forgiveness, do you think you're giving it to anybody else? It's unlikely. You haven't learned that lesson yet. We have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And the happiness is in the letting go. You don't have to be right. You don't have to agree that they are right. You just got to do it for yourself. And un until it happened to me, I never understood it. I didn't. It's a hard one to understand. All right. What else are we talking about for us? Tell me about the tarot. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus. Get out of your head. It's time to surrender to your passions, my friend. It's time to go outside your comfort zone and find out what, what uh, ignites that little fire in your belly. I think you're going to find that out before the end of the year. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. It feels like going inward or things things are sort of in your life are, are kind of uh, rolling to a crawl, I want to say. That you're not really... You're not really passionate about anything, but I think it says here, get out of your head. <laughs> get out of your head. That's the eight of, eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is in the reverse. Get out of your head. It's 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 keeping you stuck. You can't move. You're 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 not uh, throwing your passions at the universe. And when you do, when you start thinking about all the things you want to do, maybe you want to learn how to tap dance or carve wooden clogs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I just got shown a pair of clogs. Like, from Holland. Like, clogs. Real clogs. <laughs> Maybe it's dancing. I think they used to dance in those shoes. <laughs> Might still do it. <laughs> Let me know if you're if you're someone who is Dutch. Maybe you're, you're in Holland and maybe that's... It, it, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not even Holland, but... Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know where I get this information. Well, I know. Charlie gives it to me, but... <laughs> okay. Um, surrender to success. So it feels like you're about to experience some abundance once you can get out of your head. Four of Wands. Ah, interesting. So some of you might buy a house. You might decide it's time to look into a mortgage. Uh, for, for others of you, the Four of Wands could mean maybe it's time to take the relationship to the next level. You're ready to experience it. So you're open to it. And there's a, there's a difference, right? A big difference between wanting it and actually being open to it. Because some people do have a fear of success. They have a fear of leaving their comfort zone. Even It's just because they don't know what's coming next. It's not that that thing's not beautiful and wonderful and amazing. It's just that they can't imagine it. So it feels like you need to surrender to success. You are going to experience abundance. Don't look back. Don't look back here where you couldn't, where you couldn't let, get out of your head to, to get into your passion. Quit looking back there. At the previous roadblocks, you've already jumped over them, right? It says, or difficulties, leap into exciting an, an exciting new world with possibilities. So the possibilities are everything with this, right? The possibilities are this could be marriage. This could be taking the relationship to the next level. This could be buying a house. It's happy celebration within walls that you like to be in with other people. Could be a family. Could be maybe you're inviting someone into your home um, uh, to live with you because it's with the intent of getting married. Somebody is scared of the success, whatever it is. We've got forgiveness. Yeah, it's time to revisit that. Being at the crossroads of forgiveness is not a good place to be. Look, you need to you need to make your forgiveness with people while they're still on the earth. Because when they leave the earth, it doesn't get any easier. It gets a whole lot harder, for sure. It sure does. I've been through that. When you're waiting and waiting and waiting for the apology from the abuser or the person who knows that they did you wrong and they're avoiding you because of that, and then they leave the earth. And now what? Yeah. So I feel like it's really important that you revisit or go back to the drawing board, go back to this crossroads of your life here and decide what you're going to do about the person that you still can't forgive, whether that's your baby daddy or grandma. I don't know. But it's going to block other things in your life because if you don't have forgiveness for one person, you're not going to have it for others. You just haven't learned that lesson yet. Tell me about freedom. We have the Page of Wands. Freedom, fun, and frolic. I always say fun and frolic when I see this card because it reminds me of this, uh, the, I'm going to show it to you, um, 
throwing caution. Oh, there it is. <laughs> throwing caution to the wind. That's what it reminds me of. Fun, free, frolic. I'm just going to throw my ace of wands and wherever it lands, it lands, right? So that's what this feels like. The freedom to do whatever you want. The freedom to live your passion. I love it. It's really beautiful here. It feels like there is, there is some stuff that you're going to need to figure out. And the truth is, it's okay. You'll do it when it's time. Don't push yourself if you're not ready. So we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. Why is that? Oh, probably because the deck's in the reverse. Oh, it's not. So we have the five of wands in the reverse and the three of pentacles in the reverse. It feels like somebody is, in the future, deciding that they no longer want to be friends with somebody. It could be a Libra. Um, the four, or sorry, the five of wands in the reverse is I'm no longer beating myself up. I'm no longer going to em embattle myself <laughs> in this idea of that I got to stay friends with this person. It could also be a lack of, um, a lack of participation that maybe nobody's on your team and you're going to have to do this alone. The page of wands goes on that, goes on that, um, goes on that path alone, right? The Page of Wands. Yeah, they're at the beginning of something, they're not planning anything, and they're just going to throw that wand in the air wherever it lands is where they're going to go. The Five of Wands in the reverse is I'm no longer dragging my heels on it. it. It's, you had an inability to be able to move on here, and I feel like by the end of it all, you get your justice and you're going to be able to move on and move quick. The Chariot's here. Okay. Where are we going now? We'll go here today. All right. <clears throat> Tell me more about Taurus, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus. Focus on people or activities that ignite your passions and let it flow. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Tell me about that. It feels like you're waiting for the ships to come in here. It feels like you're thinking about doing something that terrifies you. <laughs> You've got to be brave. And that's the truth. The Nine of Wands is brave, but also is exhausted. Is exhausted with being brave. It feels like... The ships that are coming in for you are bravery. And I think that you are going to um, gather as much information as you possibly can with the Page of Swords. Um, you're going to really dig into it. Get as much knowledge as you can about the ships that are coming in. Because I think the ships that are coming in is the abundance. But I don't think you see it until you get past this surrender here. The surrendering of the passion. Like telling the universe, I'm ready. Because once you signal to the universe that you're ready, the universe starts putting all of those things, all those puzzle pieces in place. In order for things to become reality for you. Surrender to success. Something's going down in the home, or you're buying a house. A new world of possibilities. I love it. Leap into exciting, an exciting new world of possibilities. And that's what this, this feels like. This Four of Wands feels like the celebration of family or home, or we now are decided we're going to get married, or we're going to move to the next level. Oh, what were you talking about that? Uh, Aries reading, we're talking about that, going to the next level here. We've got the Nine of Swords. It's it's keeping you up at night. It, it feels like somebody here is scared of success. They're scared of how big their abundance is, and they're worried that maybe when it shows up, they won't see it or they won't notice it. I think you will. The Seven of Cups is in the reverse, which says, I choose this. And I'm no longer feeling overwhelmed. I no longer am looking at all Seven Cups. I've got my eyes set on the one cup, uh, the cup that's going to bring me happiness. And the Three of Swords. And you know, the thing is, this is never without bumps in the road. And that's the truth, right? And it feels like, um, it feels like I, I choose this. <coughs> I choose this cup, but I don't really think it's for me, Elsie. Now, everybody else gets their stuff, but I never get my shit. Yeah, so it's not going to be for me. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Yeah, it's the one on the left shoulder. Yeah, that's telling you, you can't do this. What do you, who do you think you are, Taurus? You can't do this. Yeah, so I want to say that it's it's the part of you that is scared of your success, scared to see the abundance. And it sounds silly, I know, but um, staying in the 
comfort zone is what a lot of people do for their whole life, right? They don't step out past past the, the edge because they're scared of their passions. And what if they fall? And what if they fa fail? And all of these F words that they bring up, right? And, and it is really... It's either you get what you want or you learn and either way you win, right? So I feel like I feel like it's really important for you to go back to these crossroads here or to revisit this forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment. So it feels like if you resent somebody for what they did and you have not spoken up about it, you're the one who's drinking the poison. It's time. And the thing is, you don't even have to talk to anybody to forgive them. You can just make a decision to do that. It's not easy, but you can just make a decision to do that. So I think for some of you, you are pissed off with someone <laughs> from the past. It looks like it's probably someone who that who you know to be a soulmate. So that can be platonic or romantic. We have platonic soulmates all over the place. It could be your BFF. It could be your, your child. It could be a, 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 a brother or a sister. Maybe you're a twin. Um, but we have... Um, the five of swords and the six of wands so it feels like there's been a hard time or a dark place that you were in um all the things that came to kill you only made you stronger it feels like it feels like it's because of somebody and i want to say it's probably because of some sort of a romantic connection the lovers is here you made a choice to go you made a choice to leave and it was a smart choice the best choice for you and for your children um and it feels like you're the one who decided to go because of these fundamental differences. We could not agree on something. There was You kept telling me I was wrong, and I know that I'm not wrong. We just couldn't come to a place where we could, um, where we could agree to disagree. A lot of people don't like doing that. They don't. They don't. They don't want you to have your, your, um, your own thoughts, right? It's like you're you're with me or against me. How often do we hear that, right? That's what that feels like. The five of swords feels like you're with me or against me. And I think you just decided then I'm against you. Sorry. But I think that what you need to do is you don't need to revisit the person. You don't need to even talk to that person if you don't want to have anything to do with them. But please try and forgive them within the self. And just realize that we're all human beings, right? I think that sometimes we like to throw daggers when we're sad or when we're hurt, right? When we get hurt from a family member or a loved one or someone we've been dating um, or married to, we get really hurt about that. But I feel like it's, it's, it's really empowering to kind of look at it at a situation that this person was doing the best that they could with what they had. This really helps in, this, in the sense of parents, right? They were doing the best with what they had. We have more tools than our parents had. It goes like that through the generations, right? And um, it feels like somebody really hurt you badly. I, I, I feel like you need to revisit the forgiveness, but I don't, I don't, I don't give you... I give you the room to say, yeah, you were hurt. Absolutely. Take that within you, re-up, <laughs> and realize that the person that hurt you did it blindly because they can't feel you, right? They can't feel how hurt you were. And also, that person, if it had been done to them, they may have been lashing out because of that. And I'm not saying buy them a break. I'm saying for yourself, try and do forgiveness. Yeah, it was some sort of a love connection that, that went under. That's what it looks like. Freedom says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's exactly what you're doing. I love it. The Page of Wands is the one that's throwing it here and throwing it there. Wherever the wand lands, that's where I'm going to go. Tell me about this adventure. The freedom to do what you want, Taurus. Here it is. There you are. The freedom to be the spiritual leader, the freedom to be the thinker, the freedom to, to um, I feel like it's it's uh, the opening of your mind. It feels like this, not only this forgiveness, but the Hierophant is someone who's very traditional, very rarely goes outside of their doctrine or the things that they believe to be true. I think with the hanged man energy, you're starting to open up because the hanged man energy is about looking at it from another perspective, from any other perspective but yours. It's trying to find the wisdom in it, trying to get this feeling in your gut that you know that you have an answer. And I think that you do get this answer. It's time to disconnect from anyone and anything that I feel like I've settled for. I don't have to settle for anything. You don't, Taurus. You do not have to settle for anything. So I feel like you you kind of look at it from another perspective. 
in that you've got the freedom and you've got the freedom because you choose not to settle. You're the person who someone says, why are you single, Taurus? And you say, because I choose it. Because I'm off looking for the two of cups and I'm off for, for having passion and success and learning things and opening the mind and changing, challenging my own views. A lot of people who are hierophants won't challenge their own views, but with the hanged man next to it, it feels to me like your mind is opening. You're not only a spiritual teacher, but it feels like you're learning to change your mind, which is flexibility when in your in your spiritual teachings is really very important. Yeah. So I feel like you're just not going to settle anymore. You're going to go for the passionate thing. Yeah. Fast forward. Here we go. Here we go. There's the, there it is. All the things that are coming up. Five of Wands is in the reverse, right? No more dragging my feet. I have no more indecision. Oh. Three of Cups, it's all about the celebration and the fun. You are about to get some justice in something here, some karmic justice. Oh, and then we see the Knight of Wands. And we see the Six of Swords. You are moving on from the Knight of Wands. Look, some of you could have been in a relationship where somebody cheated on you, right? They were just in and out, in and out. And I feel like you've decided, see, it's always been about you. You never had to wait for them to let you go. And you never had to wait for them to say sorry. You don't need them to say sorry in order for them, for you to know that they hurt you. You can give forgiveness without getting the sorry. It is possible. It's hard, <laughs> but it's possible. I promise you it is. So it feels like you're moving on from Knight of Wands. So you're not you're not doing the friends with benefits. Let's just not put a name on it, blah, blah, blah. You know all that stuff that they try and get you into and they don't want to commit. You're not into that. What you're into is celebration and happiness and moving things forward and not settling for anything. Having some freedom, acting like the Page of Wands. There you go. Have some fun. Have at it. Taurus, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching this. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back because I love you that much. Bye-bye.